Wilbur, don't eat my chair. Please, Wilbur. Come here. Come here to mommy. Come see me. You want some belly rubs? Wilbur, you got a tan today. You going down? Go ahead. You want to go down? Go ahead, I'll give you belly rubs. Go on. There you go. <laughs> I need to get closer, Wilbur. I can't rub you from that distance. Go ahead, stretch it out. Stretch out your leggies. Hi everyone, Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida and Wilbur's. It's that time. Oh, Wilbur's. He loves, <laughs> he loves the love. He loves his rubbing, his belly rubs. He likes when I play with his ears, I get his tickle spot and he kicks up his foot. Tick, 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 I got you. Okay. Wilbur, everybody says hi. You want to say hi to all your fans? Wilbur's, he just had a piece of zucchini. And we had some cucumbers. Um, always up late. Joyce, this is early. What are you talking about? Good evening, everybody. How is everyone this evening? Zoe, how are you watching me? You're next door. Zoe's next door at house one. I was just talking to her over the fence. We had snacks. Didn't we have some veggie snacks, Wilbur's? We had lots of veggie snacks. Didn't we? He's in, he's in La La Land. He loves his rubbing time. Loves his belly rubs. Oh, I love this belly. Oh, I could bite this belly and kiss this belly off. Can I have some? Okay, that's you. Did you scare yourself? Did you scare yourself, Wilbur's? Hi. 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 Can I have kisses? Can you kiss her? <laughs> I love you. Are you yawning? You're tired? I'm sorry. Am I keeping you up? Am I keeping you up? Are you tired, Wilbur? What's that? You're so funny. Where's your zoomies tonight? No zoomies for me tonight? Huh? Go zoomy. Do it, Wilbur. Do the zoomy, Wilbur. How about some veggies? Come here. Come here, Mama. Come here. You got a copper tan, to copper tone tan, Wilbur? We put sunscreen on him and we rub him down with coconut oil. Come on, baby. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go get a treat. We'll go back in your room. I figured I would take this time. It's nice and quiet. And uh, I would update everybody. Come on, baby. Let's get some treats. Oh, we have apples, Wilbur, and cucumbers. Ow, that was my foot, Wilbur. Come on. You want this? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, let's go back in the house, Wilbur. Come on, I have some treats for you. Come on, let's go get a snack. Come on. This way. Come on, Wilbur. Let's get a snack. Go ahead. You know how to go. Come on. Wilbur, I've got it. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Wolfie, please stop. Come on.
Oh, we got a party in here, Wilbur's. Here. I'll be back. Go lay down, baby boy. He's having a little veggie party. Alexa, volume down. Somebody laid a poopy for me. You left me a poopy. Hold on. Okay, everybody. you a new comforter in here. One little poopy surprise. Good job. Okay, let me get rid of that. Hold on, babies. It's okay. You didn't do anything wrong. Hold on, guys. Bear with me. You made all gone your chicky. That's good. That's so good. It's okay. That's okay, babies. at me. <clears throat> Good I got a little comforter in here for you. You want treats? You want me to get you some treats? Do you want some treats, Gables? How about you, Peanut? Do you want some little treats? Don't get scared of me. Here, put your bed over here. There it goes. Hi! I lay down. How about if I lay down? You want to come over and see me if I lay down? Come on. Come on. Come on, I lay down here. Hi. Hi there. Can you stand this? <sighs> it breaks my heart, though. It breaks my heart to see them so scared.
little kisses on my hand from Peanut. Hi, Peanut. Come on. It's okay. Come see me. Peanut and Poppy. <clears throat> Guys, you have to understand, Keith and Shelly, they live here day and night. So they're here five days, five nights, and they're in here for hours and hours and hours. And I was off for the past two days. <clears throat> So I only was in here for a very short time. So now it's my turn for the next few days. And I'm telling you, these babies are going to come around. We're going to go outside tomorrow. And we're going to have some fun outside in the yard. You like being outside with the fresh air, Peanut? Huh? You're so handsome. You're so handsome, Peanut. Puppy? Hi, Poppy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Do you want me to get you some treats? Let's get some treats. I think we need treats. Hold on. I'm going to get you surprises. Hold on a second, okay? Look. Oh, my God. Some faces curled up in a ball. Hold on. What do we have? Yeah, let's get some better treats. I'm coming in, guys. I'm coming back. Okay. I got more blankies. Hi. What I got? What do you think? You don't like meatballs? You want chicken instead? I know, you like cheese. You're going to make me get up and go in the refrigerator and get you cheese? Huh? Is that what you like? Is cheese? American cheese? I don't have any steak. <laughs> it's not a restaurant. 
These are little meatball treats and they usually love them. Oh, Poppy. Hey, Poppy. What if I put it in front of you to eat by yourself? I know you're so cute. You're so handsome. Those little faces. I can't take the fear in these dogs' eyes, though. I look at them and I think what they lived through and, oh, they're eating great. <clears throat> These are three of the nine that we took from the hoarding house. Gables. You're curled up at sleepy, Gables? Hi. Hi, baby. It's Poppy and Peanut. I know, it breaks my heart. Oh, we have all the time in the world. They did great. They were doing so great today. They're very, very comfortable with Keith and Shelly. Just gonna take time. I can't fathom what they went through. I just know that their owner was mentally ill and very, very abusive, violent. can't imagine the screaming and the yelling and not to mention the filth, no air conditioning. Little Peanut here was matted like a puppy mill dog. Her, she was so thickly matted. They were crawling and crawling with fleas and there were so many cockroaches in the house. They've been groomed and they've been vetted. They've had their vaccines and blood work and microchips. It's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Let's try this one. And then if you don't like this, then I will go get you um, cheese. Okay? You two are so intense. You're so intense. You want this piece? Girl, I mean boy. I keep wanting to say girl, they're so pretty. Good job, Peanut. Hi, Poppy. Good job, Peanut. Good job. That's good. Good boy. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. You want more?
Do you want another piece? I'll give you more. You like those? Let me break it up smaller. I don't know what their breeds are, guys. Definitely look like they have Shih Tzu in them. <clears throat> probably about, Peanut's probably about three years of age. She has a little tartar on her teeth. You like that, huh? You like it? Come here. Come to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy, Peanut. Come on. You don't like this one. Do you want to try that one? Good job. Good boy, Gable. Thank you for the kisses. Now you're all getting curious, huh? You're all looking at my goody jar. Come on. Come on, Peanut. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You're a little piggy, huh? Yeah, you're a little piggy. Good job. Good babies. Is this your friend? Who's this? Okay, we put it over there. Come see me. Come on. Come on. Poppy didn't want any. I'm going to get him some cheese. All the other dogs are barking. Let me go check and see who that is. It might be, um, I just had everybody out. Hold on, babies. We'll leave this here for a minute, okay? I'll be right back. See who's barking. Jonah, is that you? What's the matter, monkey? You hungry? You want meal number eight? Hold on, let me get you. You want to go back out? You were just out and peed and pooped. Do you want to go outside again? Or you want food? Huh? Hold on. Hold on, guys. Okay, Jonah, let me in. Want some chicken? Is that why you're barking at me? Come here. Come here, Jonah. Come here, baby. That's what he wanted. Want my chicken, lady. 
He's eating so great. He's putting on weight. Boy, and then we'll go outside again and make another little tiny poopies. Jonah needs to go in for back surgery for his disc and double hip surgery. And then after all of that, hopefully cataract surgery. He's eating like a champ. Good boy, Jonah. He looks like a little lamb, doesn't he? So sweet. That's my good boy. Look how hungry you were, Jonah. Yummy, yummy. It's one little piece. Get it over there. Here, you missed one. Here, one piece. No? Okay. How about some waters? You want some waters? Here. Water? No. Good boy. Good boy, Jonah. Good boy. You happy now? Is your belly happy? So you like a late night snack, huh? Yeah, I was hungry. Look at that mohawk. Where'd you get that scruffy head? Where you going, Jonah? Finding which bed is more comfy? Which bed is more comfy for you? Thank you for the kisses. You're welcome. You're welcome, baby boy. You're welcome. I love you. I love you. Yeah, good boy. Such a good boy, Jonah. Such a good boy. I'm right here. I'm right here, baby. I know. Okay. It's okay. Shake it off. Shake it off. Right here. I know, baby. He's starving. He loves love. Are you burying yourself in my lap, Jonah? Where you going? <laughs> Where you going, baby boy? What? Give me a minute, Jonah, okay? And then I'll take you out. Okay? You want some music? Alexa, play John Denver. I'll be right back. Be right back. <laughs> They're spoiled. Everybody's very spoiled here. Right? We spoil everybody. And you deserve to be spoiled, right? Yeah. See, we only live once. Lots of making up to do around here. Do you want to try some chicken? Ah, somebody died. You want some? You want some puppy?
That's a lot of chicken for a little boy. Be nice, Peanut. Don't growl. We don't need to fight over food here, okay? Come here. Come here, Peanut. Let Poppy eat. Let Poppy eat. Cheese is the trick, huh? Everybody loves cheese. You do have a big appetite, Peanut. Uh-uh, let her have, let him have it. Over there. Peanut, don't be piggy. You ate all the chicken. You want some cheese too? Okay, hold on, Peanut. Here, come get it from me. Come on. Good boy, Peanut. Come on, here. Don't be scared, baby. You're fine. You're fine, good job. That's such a good job. That's so good. Getting lots of kisses. Thank you for all the kisses. You want this? Can you share? We don't want any fighting. Peanut. Why are you guys sharing out of the same bowl when you have two separate bowls of chicken? Is that what you did at home? makes my heart very, very, very happy. See how long have I been sitting in here and they're already getting comfortable with me. Right, Peanut? You want it? Good job. Good job, guys. So good. Would you think anybody was ever <laughs> you going under the bridge? Huh? There's still more chicken in there. You want more chicken? You can have it. Go ahead. Go on. Good job, people. 
I know, everybody. I thought the same exact thing, that it was Romeo Shelley. I couldn't believe it. That's it. One more piece for Poppy. Peanut, let Poppy have. Okay, are we done? Put it over here for now. You want some more? No? How about you? A little bit more? No? Okay. Poppy? Okay. You did so good. I'm so proud of you, babies. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. I know it. We did so good. I'm going to lay down for a minute, okay? Is that all right? Look at these blankets I brought you. Look. Look. Hi. Hi. Come on over and see me. Come on. I won't look. Maybe if I don't look at you. I'm looking away. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Come on. You're going to be jumping all over me by tomorrow. I promise. You'll see. Baby steps. Baby, baby steps. Ah, oh, someone's coming closer. Thank you, Gable. Thank you. Gable just came right up to my face and gave me a little kiss. Good job. Good boys. Such good boys. All love. Just fear. Just scared. That will go away in time, right? Poppy, why are you shaking, Mommy? Why? Oh, this peanut. Have you ever? Mom, what are you staring at? Hi. Oh. Hi, baby. It's okay. You're fine. It's okay. Smelling me? It's okay. Peanut, you can sniff me. You can come around and sniff on me if you want. Yeah. Poppy. Come on, Poppy. Come on. so bad. They want to trust so badly.
that? You hear other doggies? I hear other doggies barking. Who is it? You want to go sleepies? It's late. You have full bellies. Yeah. I love you. I love all of you. It's going to be okay, I promise. I promise you have nothing to be afraid of. Nothing. Here. Mm. Little baby. My new blankie. Look at that. Look. Look at that blankie. I don't like you on the cold floor, Poppy. Look at that. Nice blankie. Come on. Oh, Poppy, you break my heart. <clears throat> okay. I have a feeling this is going to be your pee-pee comforter, isn't it? But you know what? It's okay. It's definitely okay. I'm going to leave a little bit of chicken there, okay? I love you, babies. They are safe, they are loved, and every day they're gonna get better and better and better. That's why when people say they want to adopt, they're not ready to be adopted. They are not ready. They don't know what's going on. They're so confused. Jonah, you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside and poopy, maybe? You see a lot of chicken, buddy. Come on, let's go outside. I take you. Come on, baby. Come here. Hold on. Wait right there. Let me grab you. I just got you. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let's get this. It's our little Jonah. There he is. There he is. Hold on, baby. You want to tie? No. One last time? Maybe you have to go poopy. It's dark, Joe. Now we need some light. One, two, three. We got lights. You. There you go. Go do your poopies. Take your time. He definitely sees shadows. Good peepees. Good boy, Jonah. That can't be it. You can't be done already. Come on. Come on, Jonah. Come see me. Come see Mommy Amy. Come on. Come on. Come on, Jonah. Good boy. Good boy, Jonah. Good boy. Good boy, baby. Where's my Jonah, Jonah, Jonah? There he is. There he is. There he is. You want to roll? Okay. You can roll, Jonah. You want belly rubbies? I got Jonah. I got Jonah. There we go. There he is. There he is. There's my happy, 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 happy Jonah. Happy, happy, happy boy. I love you. I love you so much. I do, Jonah. I love you. What? You're so excited. You're so excited. You're so excited. You're so, excited. You're so happy. This is my happy boy. Come on, let's take a little walk. It's good to move around just a little bit. Before he goes to bed, I give him um, some gabapentin for pain and a tramadol. 
and then he goes right to sleep until we get him the back surgery. Watch the wall, Jonah. He can't be sweeter, honestly. I, I, I can't even imagine. This dog is completely blind and he was found on the streets. Almost got hit by a car in Miami. With a broken, uh, a, a ruptured disc and two broken hips. Can you stand it? Hold on, buddy. I'm going to I'm gonna grab you. I'm going to take you in. You're done? You're done. Okay, come here. I know when you're done. I know. I got it. I got it. I got you, Jonah. I got you, baby. Making you guys dizzy yet? Listen, I'm doing all this one-handed. I'm pretty I think it's pretty good. What do you think? Here you go. There you go, buddy. Go find which bed you want to sleep in. Alexa, play spa music. There you go. Good boy. Go night night, Jonah. Go sweet. Sweet dreamies. I'll be right back for your meds. Boys, you want to go out? You ready? You want to go? Look at you two. Seriously? What are you getting into? Waldo. Oh. Always chewing on some plastic. You can't do that, Waldo. You're going to get sick. What am I going to do with you? What do you guys have? Disco going on in there? Alexa. Play Jim Croce. Come on, you ready to go outside? <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, let's go, you two. Let's go. Bryson, go play. I'll be right there. Go, go, go. I'll be right back. That's Wolfie barking. Come on, boys. Come on, Rome. Come on. Go on. Good boys. See, they're saying that Romeo looks like um, Gable. He's just bigger. Come on. Same coloring, but they do have very similar. You ready to go out? Come on, let's do it. Your friends are outside. And I'll give you meatballs when we go back in. Come on, let's go. Come on, Bryson. Come on, boys. Good job, Romeo. Go play. Good job. There's my boys. A house full of testosterone. Come on, Romy. Come on, Bobby. And this is what we do. We come, I've been here since eight, and we just keep coming out and rotating everybody and playing and lots of loving and kisses. They do resemble each other. So guys, I wanted to give you, um, you can't hear anything. I think it's something to do with your phone or your computer because you have, I'm sorry, I know I always get everybody's Alexa playing when I say Alexa. Sorry about that. Come on, up, 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 up. So I wanted to update everybody uh, about what happened today. I'm getting a lot of questions about the two Huskies. There were two huskies did you see the video today that I did about the two huskies I sound fine good awesome okay okay so people were saying that what happened was I received a call on two huskies that were tethered outside in the heat for a week in the pouring 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 rain um, no shelter and howling and crying so you saw it I, I started kind of late with the video I was having major major problems with uh, Facebook live feature was not allowing me to connect so it was very very frustrating because I was there for almost an hour prior to going live 
with the police officer. So I just want to say that um, the only way that I could get the two Huskies away from their situation, uh, living hell actually, imagine their coats, uh, living outside on tethers with no shelter in the heat, they were overheating, uh, pouring rain, it, it, I just can't even imagine, honestly. But um, there are animals in that neighborhood. It is so bad over there. It really is bad. Um, but the only way that we could get them out of their situation was to have animal control removed. Hey, Waldo, uh, was to have animal control remove them. Uh, the owner was not home. The person that was staying there would not take the dogs in. The owner apparently is not coming back for a week. And um, I sent an email the second I got home and with the case number, um, asking for the ID numbers of both Huskies so that I will place my uh, rescue hold on both of them to assure that nothing will happen and that they will not end up in the wrong hands if, if we get them and they're not returned back to the owner. If they're returned back to the owner, just know we have eyes and they're going to go back to the same situation uh, and we will be calling. I, I believe they're going to be given citations. So from what I'm being told to the people that called me in the neighborhood that they're not going to pay the citations. The mama dog uh, was the little brown one and she's very thin. She gave birth to six puppies. He sold, of course, all the puppies. And um, I'm going to tell you something really crazy and I don't know if you heard in the video but about six months ago when we were looking for Hakeem our missing dog that we rescued went to our experienced foster got out of her house and we have been looking ever since we were out there day and night day and night we went to that neighborhood because we got a lot of um, information that he, he could be there so we made friends with a lot of people um, on those streets and one of the people that we made friends with uh, is the person that actually called me today. And when I was there with Shelly six months ago, looking for Hakeem and talking to these people, um, those two Huskies were at the same house. They were in a crate out front. And the, the neighbor said, he takes care of them. He brings them inside. He does love his dogs. Well, now, obviously, he doesn't love his dogs. Uh, apparently, he is done with them. Um, she got pregnant and she gave birth to six puppies. He sold them off and now they're living outside on tethers. Apparently she gets loose and she runs the neighborhood mm -hmm. and all I can tell you is that I hope to God they don't go back mm -hmm. there. I hope to God and we're gonna follow it very, very, very closely. Small world, I say it was meant for us. It's, there's no coincidences, that's what I say. Um, so we're going to follow and hope to God that the dogs are not given back. Again, I sent an email um, with um, asking them, because we are partnered with the Broward Shelter, asking them if uh, we could place our hold to mm -hmm. assure their safety if the owner does not come for them. Um, so we just have to wait and see what happens with that. But I can promise you that if there's any way that those two Huskies can be rescued um, and adopted, um, rescued by us, then we will definitely um, jump in. And like I said, I'm trying to get our rescue hold in place as we speak. Just waiting for a response and I'll stay on top of it. Uh, what I can tell you is the weather here in Florida has been so unbearable. Uh, it's been so, I mean, I'm sitting here outside right now. I am sweating. I am absolutely sweating. Um, I have the air conditioning set here at 71, 72, and I go in and I'm just, I'm so hot all the time. The rain has been nonstop pouring, not just raining, but pouring, pouring, pouring rain, flooding, uh, day and night, no break in sight for days. And those dogs have been out there with no shelter and no air conditioning, no cooling system, nothing, nothing for day after day and night. Can you imagine, imagine that? So for me, knowing that they're out of that situation and I, I hate a shelter environment, 
and I'm sure they're scared. I've been thinking, oh my God, I hope they're together. There's just never a happy. Until you have your own personal hands on those dogs and you know that they're safe. And it's been exactly, it's been lightning out and the thought of them being out there day and night. So for me, knowing that they are in a shelter, at least with air conditioning and food and water, to me, there's no comparison. Um, and again, now we can monitor and we can watch very, very closely to make sure they're safe. So that's the update on the Huskies. And no, it never ends. Um, I just randomly got the phone call and I said, you know what? I have to go out there immediately. I, I can't wait. I knew I had a million things to do today, but I knew I just had to go check out the situation. Um, Carol called me. I had picked up Shelly and the two of us ran. Carol called me and said, baby, do you want me to come out and meet you or do you want me to go home and take care of the dogs? And I said, come meet me because I, I didn't know if I was going to need an extra set of hands. So thank you, Carol. Thank you for coming out. Um, so two more lives are safe. Uh, tomorrow morning, Storm, uh, the little dog that uh, Zoe is fostering, he is going in for his neuter first thing in the morning. And the other dog that, that Zoe is fostering, little Chloe, uh, she's going in for her spay. So there's two drop-offs mm -hmm. in the morning. And um, they're going in for surgeries tomorrow morning. After that, I am driving to Miami to pick up an owner surrender. Um, a chocolate lab that's been living outside. So I will update you more on that situation tomorrow morning. Uh, what else? What else? Princess. A lot of people have been asking about little princess. So the dog that was adopted and returned and she has been just calling, leaving nasty voicemails, um, emails. I've blocked her uh, from the page, blocked her from my cell phone, mm -hmm. deleting, deleting, deleting. Um, will not engage in nasty, uh, hateful people. I just don't have the time or patience for it. Uh, Princess is a 10-year-old dog, a little Bichon, that we picked up from the kill shelter. And uh, she was vaccinated. She had blood work. She's hotworm negative. Yes, she needed her teeth dental. Um, and she did have a little tumor on her neck, which was we, we, I took her in to see Dr. Babevsky. Um, and Dr. Babevsky was very, very confident. It's a clear margin. She can remove it no problem. And they're also going to do her dental at the same time next week. So um, that's Little Princess. She'll be good as new. She's perfection. When I tell you love, 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 this dog is off the chart. She's being fostered with our awesome Jenna. Thank you, Jenna and Fred. And um, then she will be up for adoption and we will find her the mm -hmm. perfect, perfect, perfect home. So that's the updates for tonight. If I've left anything out, forgive me. I'm exhausted, but um, I'm going to get back to getting these guys are just while I'm talking to you. Just having a ball, playing and having a ball. They never get tired. I like to get them tired out. And these are the two that are so bonded. They are staying together. Forever and ever and ever, we gotta keep the two white boys together. Yes, Waldo and Bri Bri. Yes, we do. So that's it, guys, for the night. I'm gonna bring them in. Um, I have to give Jonah his meds before I leave here. And um, that's pretty much it. So I want to say thank you, everyone, for always being there, supporting us, following us. Sweet dreams to you as well. Tomorrow is Friday and um, another busy day, as always. So thanks, thanks for listening. Everybody get a good night's sleep. And tomorrow we start fresh, bright, and early. I will bring you along yet again um, for when I go to Miami to take in another dog. And I'll keep you posted and update you on all that uh, tomorrow. So, good night, everybody. Sweet dreams. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. This is Amy. Good night.